Hi, I'm Rebecca Wynn with Whimsical Gardens, and today I'm going to talk about how to use rose petals as table decorations. When I'm teaching floral design classes, one of the things that I find is most difficult for people to let go of is their natural tendency towards order and control. So we always have to do sort of a crash course on random. The thing is that order and control doesn't really happen that much in nature. So when you're working with nature and natural components like flowers and flower petals, you need to be able to access your inner random, your inner organic, your inner um, ease and just natural movement and fall of components. You can use just rose petals with a base of greenery or you can use some intact roses and then use rose petals as an accent around it and that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to take this existing um, arrangement that has greenery and roses and then we're going to take some of these rose petals and we're just going to sort of cast them around. So what we want to make it look like is that one of the roses just dropped all of its petals and a gust of wind just swept them across the table. So we can actually hand place every single petal, but probably what we're going to do instead of that so that we avoid the uh, petal path where it looks like every single little petal was placed like a footpath <laughs> is we are just going to take a little handful of petals and we're just going to throw them and then we'll make we'll move them around as we need to when working with rose petals or any kind of flower petals just remember that the most natural way that you can make the petals fall is going to be the prettiest. I'm Rebecca Wynn with Whimsical Gardens and this has been how to use rose petals as table decorations. If you'd like to find out more about floral design, holiday decorating, and landscaping, you can visit my website at www.whimsicalgardens.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash whimsicalgardens. Thank you.